comedian is a comedy legend. I'm just like you, and that'll never change. Speaking of which, you got any for me? You loved him when he was broke in the 80s. <laughs> Last week, the I found face. a penny on the ground, and let's just say that old bastard doubled my net worth. But that's just my two cents. And you loved him after he went to jail for that one thing in the 90s. Oh, no. And also after that practically non-violent thing. And then also that brief thing with the cult. I said, you'll never take me alive, because I'm dead broke now, 20 years after his legendary trailer park comedy tour. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm quite poor, you see. And after shattering box office records with Penguins, Penguins 2, and Penguins 3, 4, and 6, he's back for his first comedy Three, special four, two decades in the making. Mm -hmm. Is this thing still on? He may be the highest paid comedian ever, but he oh, hasn't forgotten his roots. You ever notice how much worse the turbulence is on private flights? It's like, oh, do you need the poor people to balance things out? <laughs> <laughs> With that relatable brand of comedy Gross. you know and love, completely I tell you, it's hard changed. to find a good personal chef these days. Am I right? Completely changed. Wasn't this happening with like, was it Kevin Hart or Chris Rock? I think it was a Chris Rock one on Netflix. A lot of it wasn't relatable. Plus, we were only there to watch what he was going to talk about with the Will Smith slap stuff and all that. So, like, this <laughs> this reminds me of that. Maybe there's another example. If there is, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Did that guy cough again? Get him out of here. That's disgusting. He's not afraid to tell it like it is. Don't you just hate when you have to get a fake ID for your girlfriend so she can join you at the oh bar? Oh my god. That's kind of <laughs> gross. You know when your unpaid intern assistant is like, please, what? Jack, can I have Christmas Eve off? And it's like, yeah, you can if you want to be unemployed on Christmas Day. <laughs> oh my god. And then he shows you a picture of his kid and it's like, I don't want to see your sad home life. <laughs> Yeah, the people in the cheap Boo. seats are the ones booing. That makes sense. <laughs> A bunch of peasants is what you are. Peasants. Oh peasants. my god. Peasants. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a studio. They tried to cancel him, but he's back with an unfiltered oh God, podcast. Nice outside you cast. can't yep. say anything anymore. That's so true. That's so true. He's telling it like <laughs> it is. People these days have no sense of humor. Unfiltered. <laughs> and the problem is woke people and college campuses and none of it is me. 100%. <laughs> and it's scary because they're it silencing me. us. As a side note, thank you so much for making this the number one listened to podcast on Apple Podcasts. <laughs> free speech warrior is what you are. 100%. 100%. <laughs> There we go, it's back. About a company that has paid me a hundred thousand dollars to do so. Hey, disembodied head here. Did you? Oh my god, <laughs> I think it's uh, it's funny because it's mostly true. That's kind of how it goes. Uh, but I remember it being Chris Rock. I don't think it was Kevin Hart necessarily. He's had moments where he's like not as relatable, but Chris Rock for sure. I remember because I watched that one. But I wonder, I feel like there was somebody else. <clears throat> Yeah, that's my Discord just going off right now. Uh, <laughs> Cause they're in there. We're 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 chatting. Um, but if there were others, comments. Let me know who else has run into this outside of the ones that have done like crazy stuff, you know, illegal things, the things where they did get canceled. They do try to make a comeback. Anybody remember uh, Dane Cook? I feel like he was more hated on than like something bad he did. From what I remember, I loved watching him and listening to his stuff when I was in college. Uh, but then he disappeared and he's been back. He's done a couple of like self paid for or self funded specials. Uh, but uh, he, he just disappeared after doing some really bad movies and then <laughs> some really funny stand up moments. Then he was just gone, but he's kind of back now, but not really like no one's really like pining to go watch Dane cook. But I remember, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Other ones that maybe I'm not thinking of where this is relevant. Still very funny though. Uh, but and of course, if this doesn't work out, they just do a podcast, which is what most people do do nowadays. Uh, so that's kind of the way the way of the world. But your thoughts in the comments below. Check out the description for more information on the equipment I use if you're interested. And as always, thanks for watching. Glad we could laugh on some stuff here, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.